777. Today we're playing some more amnesia. Just to get into this because I was talking and saying that the voice. So let's go. I need to get out of here. Oh yeah, that's right. What am I doing? I'm going back. Okay, there we go. This is the last time I just ran straight into the Forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Thank you. 
July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow.
14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. I don't know if that's a good idea to sleep since there's something that seems to be chasing I. So maybe you should stay awake. Just, just uh, putting that as a little thought there, a thought process. skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. And you will just be as dead as the others.
sorry if I hit you with this piece of metal. bowl. Get off every little fat ball if I can take. Hit every
that's fair enough. So we've got to go to study rooms. short study it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain in dog induce stress which seems to trigger an enormous response. Or egonormous response. Man. Causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It's difficult to determine exactly where and what it was, but I, I can sense it. Roots of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable even more work to be done. More experience was on before, but it seems that only human beings are capable to choose too much necessary. 
it might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that augments their process their experience together. Okay, that's not stupid. to create an explosive. Hopefully that won't be it, but if that is, then gosh darn darn. the levels to the right amount of pressure inside the chamber and the meter should read up and up eight and down eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the flow meter. Strictly strain set function four phase amplitude complete the circuit. Complete system flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check in a proper configuration to all certain.
God damn it. This will be it guys, we made some nice progress, I thought I was going to take forever doing that shit, but yeah, that's been straight up goodness, so uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next Amnesia video, and uh, this is Harazar177, signing off, see you later guys.